Alright, my mom's room is ready for carpet. As you can see, it's the linoleum from that other bathroom they put underneath the wall. I'm going to rip that up. I'm not putting down padding. The only thing I've been doing is, uh, I don't like padding for some reason, but uh, I went around and scraped up any large marks of uh, drywall mud that was left on the ground, but got that up. That little hole right there will be covered by trim. What I'm going to do now is bring the carpet in here, cut it, and staple it. I never installed carpet, I've only ripped it up before. I got a new air vent because that one's all mashed in and taped. Yep. For tools for this job, I got lots of razor blades. I just did all the blades on these for measuring tape, of course, 25 foot, heavy duty. See, it says heavy duty stapler. Carpet looks beautiful. I trimmed out this door terribly, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, molding all the way around. It's a, actually a five and a half inch molding. And I gotta cut these right here. And the weird trim bits. But I do that with a chisel and a hammer when I put the molding in, so it's pretty easy. So, start on that. So I got my chop saw set up in here. This molding was free. Where I worked, they did a renovation. And uh, they basically stacked it in a room, and head maintenance guy's like, hey, you want that crap? I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. We're good friends, so yeah, it's pretty nice molding. It's already primed, which is pretty nice. It's been sitting for a long time. Sparkle board. I'm gonna do a 45 cut, 122 inches and a half. So I got this long piece of molding here, cut, ready to go. But you got these little wooden strips that cover up joints and trailers. What I do is I mark it with a chisel, just go like this. Make a groove in there. And now I take, I don't even take the molding off. Well, it's not nail or anything. I just basically put a chisel here and whack it with a hammer and cut that little chunk out. See how easy that was? Just whacked it there, got it off. Now I can basically nail it my trim. First piece of trim looks great. Got my 45 down here. Next one will go into that. I'll go ahead and measure that. Now. My brother put down the carpet in the closet. It looks real nice. This is a remnant off of what we got, which was remnant we got for 130, which was a great price, <laughs> especially for 12 by 17. I trimmed it out. It looks good. I got to change some light switches. I mean, some plugins and some plug-in covers. Got to cock that. Cock any place it needs it. I hung this door, which I painted the same color I painted the wall because it was messed up. Bring a vacuum next time, clean up the carpet scraps. Yep. Looks good. Looks like a house. Alright. We conquered another room of carpet. This carpet's a little lower end than the other carpet, but it still is very nice. Brownish cocoa type color. Uh, I don't put in padding in my rooms because I I don't like carpet pattern. This area is going to be done on linoleum. It's going to be like a wet bar type area for my computers or something. I don't know. But uh, this carpet, a very good deal, was $100 even. And this room is 13 by 15. Or 13 by 14, so that's a good deal. Uh, the carpet just fit. What happened when it was going through Lowe's? And I saw a guy rolling up carpet, and I was like, is that going to be a uh, remnant? Because I usually buy a remnant because it's cheaper. He's like, yeah. I was like, what size is it? He's like, 15 by 13. And I said, I'll take it. He's like, I'm not even done wrapping it up. I don't even know how much it costs. I was like, find out how much it is. And this, there's this old guy over there, and he's, he's like, how much does this cost? How much are you going to sell this for? And I was like, mmm, $100. So... Pretty nice. I like it. It's a little bit cheaper, but it's it's, it's like a polyester or whatever. Not polyester, but I can't even know. Oh, the plastic, whatever. But it's still pretty good. Had to bend it. Not really a good idea. It kind of put some lumps in it, but it's good. 
Easy to install, stapled all the way around. Yep. Split the door frames with it for the most part. Definitely did it in the closet. See? Got air vent there, cut out already. So, uh, things are rolling, you know. After I trim out this room and do the linoleum in this little nook, um, trim it out. I gotta trim some doors for some reason. I don't know why, because I painted them and now they won't close. That's weird. <laughs> trim some doors. Just odd crap like that. Probably about a day's work. We can start moving our crap into this room. Yeah? Seeing what we need to get rid of and seeing what we want to keep. That's great. So, uh, yeah, my mom's room's finished, our room's finished. We can go ahead and move most of our shelved items, you know, dressers and crap like that. Just on beds, but, you know, after that, all it is is kitchen. And uh, I got both kitchen cabinets, and, yeah, it'll be cool. Anyway, this is an update on it carpet for our big room.